Sundar, of the Diksha Guru of Prabhupada, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Thakur, Srila Gog Shodas Bhagi Maharaj, Yaki! This uh, Samadhi Mandir actually was on the other side of the Ganga in Navadip town. But the Ganges is often moving and it was about to wash away the Samadhi. So our Param Gurudev, Srila Bhakti Pragyan Keshamaraj, when he was Vinod Brahmachari, along with his associates, quickly went there before it could be washed away and moved the whole Samadhi from that side to this side. So this is one of the tremendous services of our Param Gurudev that he rendered to his Guru how pleased Prabhupada Bhakti Sansotaku was that he had bought his own Guru uh, here to the main headquarters of the Gaudiya Mat. Namo Gaur Kishoraya Namo Gaur Kishoraya Kshadvai Raghya Murtaye Kshadvai Raghya Murtaye Vipalambara Sambodhe Vipalambara Sambodhe Adambu Jayate Namaha Adambu Jayate Namaha Srila Gokishore Das Bhaji Maharaj is Sakshadvai Raghya Murtaye means he is the direct embodiment of Vairagya, detachment from this material world. He had only just one piece of cloth. He was chanting Harinam, Maha Mantra day and night. He used to eat just by begging. Sometimes he did not eat, he would just take some Ganges water and mud. He had no fixed address. Sometimes he would sit in underneath upturned boat on the bank of the Ganga and chant. Sometimes he did bhajan in the public toilet of a Dharma Shala. He was completely disconnected without any attachment to the physical plane. Prabhupada Bhaktisthan Sotaku, when he saw his doll, oh, this is my Gurudev. So he came and said, please accept me as your disciple. But he had no disciples, he told him. I'll ask Gornitai if they agree, then I may do it. So he sent him away. Next time he came back, he said, will you accept me? He said, I forgot to ask them. The next time he came, Gokishwar Das Bhadimara said, you should know that your worldly education and birth in a high class family and your wealth, these are no eligibility to receive Diksha. So, so Srila Prabhupada was rejected many times. So then our Srila Prabhupada remembered, oh, Ramanujacharya was rejected 18 times by his Gurudev. So I should not give up.
So Srila Prabhupada began fasting and doing a very austere breath called Chandrayan breath. And he became very lean and thin. So Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur, who was very much respected, Srila Gokishura Svaraj Maharaj always used to come to Godrum Dweep to listen to the classes of Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur. So, Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur told Srila Gokishura Svaraj Maharaj, he is very sincere, you should accept him. So then he agreed and gave Diksha to Prabhupada Part, Srila Bhakti Stansu Thakur on the name Shri Barsha Banavi Devi Daita Das. And blessed him to do bhajan here. So this was the place of Prabhupada Bhakti Stansu Thakur's bhajan with the blessings of Srila Gokishur Das Bhavji Maharaj and Srila Bhakti Nau Thakur. Srila Gokishur Das Bhavji Maharaj would not tolerate any duplicity, any cheating, any pretense. Once he had, was staying in one bhajan kutir and a Sankirtan party came and they were doing 24 hour kirtan. The next day the devotee was saying, oh, such wonderful kirtan was going on here. Srila Gokshara Svadhi Maharaj said out, this place is contaminated. Dig up the dirt where they were dancing and throw it in the Ganges to purify this place. All chanting, only Nama Parat. Hmm? They are not following any principles. Madanga players are taking it turns to go and smoke. <laughs> so this is all impure, this is not the holy name. <laughs> Once one very wealthy person came, he was a king of Kasim Bazaar, and he said, Oh Maharaj, we are going to have a Sabha, a Dharma Sabha religious assembly, please come to my palace and speak there. He said, no, I will not go. Because we should be friends. If I go and stay and spend a few days in your palace, I'll be looking around and think I should also have a palace. <laughs> and then I'll become your competitor and we'll be in conflict. So I will not go there. But if you want auspiciousness and really to follow Dharma, and then he took some coping. He said, I'll give you this. You can stay here with me. He prayed, Maharaj, please be merciful to me. He said, this is my mercy. The coping. This is a sign of renunciation. Many persons used to beg for his mercy, say, you don't want my mercy. Believe me. <laughs> you don't want. You want to enjoy the material world. You don't want Krishna Prem. <laughs> Once it was cold winter season and someone gave him a quilt, a blanket, to stay warm at night. So he just threw the blanket on the top of the roof of this hut. 
Yeah. And they said, oh, why did you put the blanket there? He said, if I feel cold, then I just look at it and my cold goes away. Very deep. Try to understand what he's saying. If you are attached to the luxuries of this world, then you will have a bodily identification. And seeing that, oh, rejecting it, then body identification goes away and all dwanda, all dualities of hot and cold, happiness and distress also go. Once, when someone gave him a, a pot of Mahaprasadam, and he hung it on the wooden rafter of his hut to take later. So while he was away, one snake came crawling along the roof and then began to eat the prasadam and then went away. So that means that the prasadam now could be poisonous. So when Gokshuras Bhaji Maharaj came back and he was about to take that prasadam, there was one, he was very old, but there was one old woman there, she said, Oh, Babaji Maharaj, be careful, be careful. A snake has uh, tasted that. <laughs> and he became... He became ferocious. He said, oh, get out of here, get out. No one asked for your opinion. <laughs> your affection for me is more poisonous than that bite of a snake. <laughs> so Namo Gaurikishwaraya Sakshad Vairagya Murtai. He is the embodiment of all detachment from worldly things and all things which are the particle antagonistic to Shuddha Bhakti. He was illiterate. He could not read and write. But the greatest scholar in the world, Prabhupada Bhakti Sutaku, wanted to be his disciple. Why? Hmm? Because Gokishu Das Bhaji Maharaj was like an ocean of loving separation from Radharani. So he composed one song. We cannot say he wrote a song because he couldn't write, but he composed one song. And it is called Raganath Goswami Ira Jeevan Udesya, the goal of life of Raganath Das Goswami. Do you know this song? Rade 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 Jai 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 Sri Rade 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 Rade
I am a beggar. Please be merciful to me. Oh, the six Goswamis, especially Raghunath Das Goswami, he is crying day and night for the mercy of Radhika. His cloth is grey from rolling on the on the earth in separation. And he's floating in a lake of his own tears. So, because Srila Gokishwadas Babji Maharaj was filled with the intense barb of separation from the service of Radhika. This is why Srila Bhaktisna Thakur wanted to, to be his disciple. The scholar wanted to be the disciple of a literate person. Why? Because we don't come to Guru to get material knowledge or material qualifications. We only come to get one thing, that is Gurudev's Bhav. So, Sila, Sila Gorgishodas Bhavdi Maharaj is the incarnation of Radhika's dear maidservant Gunamanji. Sila Gorgishodas Bhavdi Maharaj is the incarnation of Radhika's dear maidservant Gunamanji.